Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a look that I actually posted on Instagram and a lot of you guys requested to see it and it was this look here. But the main culprit was this Astralis lipstick in grunge. It is a dark purpley kind of lipstick. Deep lips are so in at the moment. It's like an autumn winter trend here and I am just loving it. I never thought that I would ever wear a lipstick like this but I absolutely loved how it turned out. I got heaps of compliments too. A few weird looks, but yeah. <laughs> I can't remember exactly what primer I used on the day, but today I'm using the Makeup Forever HD Primer. This isn't anything special, I don't think. I think my Face of Australia one, which was $10, works just as good. Okay, I'm going to try and replicate the look as best as I can and I did use the L'Oreal True Match that day. This is in the color N5, Sable Sand. I just baked tan, so hopefully I'm just taking a stab with this color, hopefully it's right. And I'm just buffing that in with the Sigma Round Top Kabuki Brush. This is the F82. Today I'm actually planning on launching my blog, so hopefully, I'm sure it will be up by the time you see this, but like it's really exciting. If you've got any ideas for blog posts or reviews or anything that you want to see, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you have seen my blog, let me know what you think of it. Someone asked me about how you go about the hairline and not getting too much product in it. What I do is I, for these tricky bits up here, is I hold it back and after I finish taking the main product on my brush, I'll go over lightly the area with not much product on my brush at all and just try and get as close as to the roots as possible. Like, I mean, these little hairs here you can't really avoid, but you can try and get in those little areas there as best as you can. Something you kind of can't avoid if you're blonde. <laughs> I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla and I've used this a few times this week and last week and I really really like it. The first time that I used it was actually the day that I wore this look and I was just like oh my god this high-end concealer, I've never used a high-end concealer, is just freaking amazing now. I'm going to have to spend all my money on high-end concealers. <laughs> so I really really love it. You don't actually need that much of it. It is a really nice consistency. It's really easy to spread and blend into your foundation. And I just freaking love it. I think it's amazing. Blend that, make that triangle shape down from underneath your eye towards your nose and cover up those dark circles. And then just blend that in there with the foundation brush, just whatever you have left on your brush. Just gonna go in with a tiny little bit more on those dark circles. I think I need a corrector because my dark circles are getting really dark. So if you know of any correctors and want to suggest any, feel free because I'm in the market. To set the concealer, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte in Transparent. So I'll just pat that underneath there underneath my eyes, just wherever I put that concealer. You want to use a light powder over the concealer just to make it worth its while. Otherwise it won't show through if you use a colored powder or your normal skin tone powder. Then for the rest of my face, I'm using my Astralis Fresh and Flawless in Deep Natural. And I am taking it on this Eco Tools Dome Bronzer Brush and it is actually shedding. Oh, that's disappointing. But I do really like this brush for powder, even though it does shed. So I haven't even used this yet. It's my NARS Laguna and Orgasm Duo. It's still got the, the stuff on it. That's it there. I'm going to draw that line there from the top of the ear and blend it up. I have never used this and I like it so far, <laughs> just from the first line. So just underneath that cheekbone in that line there, that's where you're going to draw that. I think I did on the day use hula, but I think these two are much of a muchness. And then on the sides of the nose, like I mean they do the same thing, don't they? on the bottom of the jawline there. 
blush I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me blush in Deep Move and I like this one because it's just it's quite subtle like it's nothing too it's nothing too bright so that's why I chose this one and I just put a little bit on highlighter of course it's the Bar Mary Luminizer and I'm going to take a generous amount of this today and place that on the top of the cheekbones. I might do Cupid's bow after I've done the lips. Oh, I'll do a little bit now in case I forget, because I bet I forget. Anastasia Brow Wiz time! I freaking love this! If you haven't got one of these, you need to go get one. Even if you're someone that is just like not comfortable with their brows, and you haven't found a good brow product yet that you absolutely love, you will love this. It is so easy to use. It is just fantastic. This is in the color Ash Blonde, of course. As per usual, I'm setting them with my Essence Lash and Brow Gel. Going to use this Belly Branded Color Tattoo. I have been really, really liking this lately. Just as a base for all of my shadows. I'll just pat that in there. Now the eye look wasn't anything too fancy, but I did use my Stila in the Light palette for it. Sorry if you don't have the palette, but you really need this palette in your life because you can do so much with it. First up, I'm taking Bliss, which is a matte brown color. I'm taking it on this large fluffy brush. And in circular motions, I'm going to run that through the crease. And just fluff it in there. You can actually take a generous amount of product on your brush with this color because it's just a perfect crease color. Like, I mean, don't just go in there with a freaking shadow brush on your crease, though. Get a really, really good fluffy brush. This one is from BH Cosmetics. I think it was like a couple of dollars. It didn't come in any kit, it was just by itself. So just put a generous amount of that one all through your crease and around your eyes. I just follow the natural shape of my eye, which is round. I just like the, the natural shape of my eye, so I do go like that. I do follow that shape. On a smaller fluffy brush, see it's not as wide as the other one, I'm going to take a Sunset, which is this color here, and I will tap off the excess for that. I'm going to run that through the crease as well. This one, as you can see, is a lot more bold. Oh, I hope that's showing up. I should zoom you in. Wait. Sorry, that was really rude of me not zooming you in till now. See the difference in color between Bliss and Sunset. This one only has Bliss. This one has Bliss and Sunset. On the lower lash line, I will take the same two colors, Bliss and then Sunset, and I'm taking them on this brush, which is my favorite eyeshadow brush at the moment. It's by Real Techniques, and it's called a base shadow brush, but I find it is just the perfect fluffy brush for underneath the eyes, and even just putting like a little bit in the crease, I just am obsessed with it. I've been using it like daily. That's with hardly any work, and look at it, it just looks so blended and nice. So take uh, bliss the whole way along your lower lash line. I look so silly when I do this. I'm like, <laughs> and then we will take sunset all the way along as well. Then what I'll do is take this color here called Luster, and it's like a gray color with gold flecks to it, I guess you would say. I'm going to take a little bit on that, tap off the excess, and put that just on that corner there in that crease. I'm, not, I'm just going to sit it on that edge there. And what I'm doing is I'm just pushing it in just that little corner there in the crease. I'm not bringing it forward or anything like that. I'm just sitting it there and blending it out just to give some extra dimension. If you get too much, just blend it out with one of the brushes that you used before. Just push that in there. I'm going to just do it on the outer edge of the lower lash line as well, not taking any additional product on the brush. For the lid, I'm actually going to take Bare, which is this matte cream color, and just press it all on the lid there. And 
and I'm actually going to take that for the brow bone highlight as well. And on the inner corner, I'm going to place some. It won't really show up, but it'll still be there. So a very basic plain eye, nothing too glamorous. Just a little bit of definition there. For eyeliner today, I'm just doing a very, very small, thin line. And I'm using this Buxom, um, it's like a shadow stick, but you can use it as an eyeliner. And this is in Brass Knuckles. So it's like a deep burgundy color. Now it is still new, so I still am able to use it as an eyeliner because it is quite sharp on the point, but you can take a little tiny brush, eyeliner brush or something, and then just put that on your lash line. I'm going to pull my lash to the side and just run that along the lash line. I'm going to take a cotton tip and blend it in and just smooth it out. Does anyone else have like random little lashes like sticking up that aren't actually in the lash line and it makes it really hard to draw eyeliner on? Or is it just me? I use the Rimmel Scandalize in Nude in my waterline. So I'm just gonna pop that in there. For mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic, and I am in love with this mascara as of late. I am actually going to wear some falsies, so I'm going to get that ready by just putting my glue um, out and making it tacky. I like this because it gets really close to your lash line. Oops. And then the L'Oreal Voluminous over the top. And I'm going to trace my lips. This is going to take some time. This lit liner is actually really, really good. I really need to up my game with my lips. <laughs> Wish I just had like endless amounts of lashes so I could just throw them out after one wear. <laughs> I'll try and get as many uses as I can out of them. Today I'm using these ones and I think that they're Red Cherry 43s. So I'm going to slap these bad boys on. Does anyone else have a lash grip and find that it really stinks? I don't know what where I even got this from. Probably eBay. I did end up painting this on because it was really hard last time, but I might give it a go. Freehand. That looks so dark on the camera. It's like, this is where you have to clean up the mess. And you waste a lot of Q-tips. And you can actually use the nude liner and just trace around the edges and that'll fix them up too. I'm actually going to blot it. And do the thing so I don't get any on my teeth. <laughs> Something bad was on my friggin' hand. And I'll go over it lightly again. Just dab it on there. Now, just for the eyelashes. So then I'm going in a frame. A little bit 
bit of kitten from the palette and just pop it on that inner corner just to give it a little bit of sparkle and we're done So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's something very different to what I would usually wear, but I'm going with it and it is nearly winter. It's pretty much winter. It's cold enough to be winter, even though I'm in a top, I've got the heater blaring, honestly. <laughs> I really, really like this lipstick. It is a grunge by Astralis Color Injects. This is their new packaging, if you didn't know. So their old packaging is kind of has the slanted tube which doesn't actually fit in your lipstick holder very well yet this one does so it's great i love how they have the colors up the top now that's fantastic this will stain your lips though so just be warned i'm gonna have stained lips anyway thank you for watching give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and want to see more out there kind of looks <laughs> and i will see you in my next video bye